What is going on everybody and welcome back into Barley Studios for another awesome, very fun video. Now this is going to be kind of a sped up uh, process of me using some watercolors. Uh, I haven't uh, put a lot of watercolors on my YouTube channel so I'm excited to start putting some out. Uh, and I'm not the best watercolor artist but I still like to make fun projects and I do the best that I can. I like to keep my work very free when I'm working with watercolors. So as you can see here, I've got just the uh, the black and white printed version of the ultrasound here. Now, this is an entire series, so if you want to see the entire series of this portion of the art, then you can go to definitely, definitely check that playlist out. I will link that above if possible. Uh, and this will be listed under there as well as uh, canvas work. As you can see here, I am just going to use some uh, transfer paper there, and I'm just going to use a small embossing tool just to kind of get that transfer over onto my, my watercolor canvas here. I'd have that taped to a board just to make it easy to move around. And we're going to do this in a, a, a single setting. So I'm going to do this in one session overall and then it will be done. Now we have already sculpted this with monster clay as well. And we made a mold and casted that also. So if you haven't had the opportunity to check out that video, make sure you do do so. It's very cool. We did paint that in a pink patina bronze, which turned out absolutely beautiful. And I did create a separate video for that as well. We're going to use two water, uh, water color painting pens here. These are water pens. You can get them on Amazon or any of your art stores, depending on the price and the sales that they have going on definitely get a whole pack they're absolutely awesome and they'll save you tons of time i really would like to use these specifically because i plan to lean towards into doing a lot more um plan air water painting i would like to do some from the zoo painting our local animals in uh, north carolina so we have the ashboro zoo here and i love going over there being able to see the animals so i plan to do some plan air painting as well i would like to plan it so that i can somehow bring you along with me when i do those so maybe I'll, I'll either communicate with the zoo when I do that, or I'll just kind of do that on my own. We'll see how that kind of progresses. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to begin the process of painting here with my little painting palette there. Uh, it is the portable one. I'm not using anything on an actual canvas beside me or a, uh, a larger scale palette. What we're going to do is we're just going to use that small little tin to get the colors that we need and start laying in some black here. So I believe this is a Mars black. Both of these, all these paints are Windsor and Newton uh, watercolor paints that I've uh, taken from the tubes and squeezed into these little uh, watercolor trays. And I only pick the colors that I feel like I'm going to use for any particular project. Let's go ahead and set the reference photo to the top left there just so we have something to look into and kind of compare it to as we go. Uh, the zoom is a little bit off, so I can try to crop that so it will uh, look like it is here on the canvas. Uh, as you can see here, we're just going to try to get some of the darts laid in. And as we come in with darts later on in the process, we will kind of define those even to be darker than they already are. Uh, hopefully by defining them a little bit now and then coming in and finishing them later, it'll kind of cascade over the existing browns that we're going to introduce here shortly. Most of the browns that we're going to use here is a raw sienna, a burnt umber, uh, and I believe it was like a Van Dyke brown also, but we we're also going to introduce a little bit of titanium white just to bleach out some areas around the cheek bones and uh, around the forehead where the, the glares would be slightly higher in that picture that was taken of the 3D ultrasound. This is very the very first uh, ultrasound that we were able to do, at least 3D ultrasound, so it was very cool to be able to just do a bunch of different types of art uh, formats with this. Um, I used a, a multitude of different means to uh, mediums to create this uh, in different ways. And I'm just really excited that I was able to have a muse for creating a bunch of different types of art from the same reference photo in general. Uh, the, the sculpting and the, uh, the monster clay uh, uh, creation was absolutely incredible. It was actually one of the very first monster clay sculptures that I was able to, to partake in and create. Uh, and it was a great starting point. All right, so as you can see here, we're really starting to lay in some browns here. That raw sienna really does look really good uh, in comparison to the white canvas from behind. Uh, it is a very, um, uh, I wouldn't say a very thick color that I'm applying there, but I'm just really watering it down quite a bit. So I can really save a lot of the thicker uh, layers of paint for the outside edges where the shadows would be deepest. And if I could just create the overall kind of tone in general, uh, and the temperatures throughout the face, then I think that the, 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 the 
human interpretation of it the eye interpretation will really take it from there as you can see i added a little bit of titanium white into that raw sienna there and it kind of brought the tone around the forehead there uh, as you can see in the reference photo on the left hand side that forehead around the left cheek down towards the uh, the upper uh, cheekbone and then down towards the jaw and the lip is where it has the highest level of highlights but I am going to definitely layer in quite a few browns there and just till I can get, kind of get the overall like build up that I that I'm happy with um, I really I really want the eye to be able to take over and, and really say ooh that's a that's a 3d ultrasound that's that's the silhouette of a baby's face and if I can kind of achieve that then I'm pretty happy with this overall painting um, like I said, we're just gonna keep this kind of simple and uh, my boy my baby is actually already born So we already know what she looks like. She's an absolute beauty But um, we want to make sure that I'm able to create this and finish out this project I don't want this project just to sit on my work desk for ever's and ever's and not be able to finish it uh, And this is one of the things that I needed to uh, complete so I can finish the entire project uh, As you can see there, I'm just trying to get the shadows around the nose correct I'm going to bring that nose out just slightly before I kind of shade it, shade it in a little bit more, but I want to just make it a gradual shade so I can kind of see that cheekbone kind of going into the shadows from the right hand, right hand side of the face. As you can see there, as I add more layers of the uh, Mars Black there, it'll kind of deepen that overall color and it covers up more and more of the, the, um, the paper from behind. Really using quite a bit of water there, a little bit of titanium white. I'm really pushing that uh, against the bottom of the eyelid there. There's a lot of shadow there because uh, the baby's eye is closed. Uh, but I want to make sure that I can kind of push the water in that titanium white where it needs to be. Uh, and it's a back and forth type of thing. If I can create little highlights here and there with the titanium white. And then to kind of bring them back down a little bit with the, the uh, raw sienna. Then I think that's a really good combination. Uh, as far as bringing the colors back and forth until I'm happy with the overall shading. Uh, but I want to make sure that the, the, the Mars Black is just not too dominating on the edges of the face. As you can see, when that Mars Black kind of dries out and the water kind of evaporates there, it really does kind of uh, dinge out a little bit. Uh, and I'll continuously bring in that Mars Black until I'm just happy with its overall color tone. Um, I'm trying to continuously get that 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 dude, those deeper shadows to hold that Mars black and it does take quite a few different layers I got a little bit of water runoff around the top of the eyelid there and I'm really not happy with that um, But it does have quite a bit of variation in, in shading in the in the ultrasound So although I wasn't really happy with it at the time it kind of worked out quite well and I, I kind of left a little bit of that behind but I kind of continuously come in and work it more and more uh, as I go through the process until I'm just kind of happy with it. I'm trying to make sure I bring in a little bit of brown towards the right hand side of the lip there uh, So it looks like the, the it's kind of like inset into the darkness from behind in the shadows So I want to make sure that it doesn't just end at the Mars Black. It kind of continues on at least a little bit Or at least that's the way that I think the eye catches it You know the eye is gonna be so focused towards that eyelid the nose and the edge of the mouth there and if the mind can just take it over and say, oh, that's kind of jolly like recessed into the shadows on the right hand side, then I'm pretty cool with that. Overall, I think I spent uh, maybe maybe about 30 to 45 minutes in total on this painting. Uh, and I really do like this format here. I really like being able to paint with my black background here on a small size canvas like we are here. Now, whether it's here in a controlled setting like the studio or if it's out in the in a plein air scenario, I want to make sure that I can you know continue to have a high quality of video, video recording. And now, I do use my phone for most of the recording, however, but I just want to make sure I can give you all the best quality as possible. And I hope I, I achieve that in some ways. I'm coming in here with a few more highlights with the titanium white and the raw sienna. Uh, kind of fine-tuning some of the marsh black there, and then I'm really kind of happy with how it turns out from there forward. I'm just going to stop working it, otherwise I think I'll work it too much and it'll just become a, a blurry mess. But uh, here's the, the, the other piece of art that I've already completed, and of course we're going to clear coat this, and then it'll be a addition to this beautiful um, acrylic kind of painted board that me and my daughter made. Uh, that video will also be listed in the playlist uh, uh, of this uh, project, uh, so if you want to check that out, whether it's under acrylic painting or uh, this ultrasound project, then you can check that out. Make sure you subscribe, like, and I'll catch you later, guys.